So today we're checking out one of Devoom's latest pixel frame, the Devoom Pixel 64, and I think this one is really big and cool. Pixel art is a niche genre that has generated many fans over the years, and Devoom have definitely been spearheading this segment with all their cool pixel frames. The last Kickstarter that we've worked together with Devoom is the Pixu Sling and if you haven't checked out that, definitely click on the video here. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to his channel, leave a thumbs up on his video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Devoom Pixu 64. So like most of Devoom's pixel art frames, there's really not too many complicated design features and this frame is made specifically to be hung on your wall or set down on the table just like this. So the entire frame here is made of a plastic material and there's also some weight to the frame itself, this is not really light and the frame itself is not too small as well, measuring at about 26cm tall and about 26cm wide. So the main display here is a 64 by 64 pixel panel, hence the name Pixu 64. And it gives you a slightly higher resolution pixel art compared to what you get with a smaller 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 frame. So the back of the frame is also really simple plastic module as well as some cool lines and design going on. And the Devoom branding there in the middle, which is really nice. And Devoom also cleverly hides the stand behind the frame. So this stand here that you see can be removed and you can place it inside here and that's how you store the stand so that you don't lose it if you want to hang it on the wall. So below the Devoom panel here, you also get a Type-C port so you can plug the frame in for power and unfortunately this frame is not battery powered so you cannot use this wirelessly and need to keep the power plugged in. Next to that, you also see a slot for a micro SD card which is used to load up the operating system of the panel. If you pull it out, then it will restart and ask you to insert the card. And at the front and at the bottom of the frame, you get three holes here, which houses the microphone at the back of this panel. So it will listen to your surrounding music. And there's a feature that I'll show you later that works very well with that. So at the side of the frame, you see two physical buttons and one is to turn on and off the screen. So if you press on the top one, it will turn on and off the screen. And the other button, which looks like a sun, originally I thought that this is the brightness control, but it actually toggles between the different modes of the panel. So if you press once on the bottom button, it will toggle uh, between several different screens. So let's start with the first one, which is the clock. And inside the clock later, when you look into the app, there's a couple of different clock faces that you can choose from. Either you can have a social media one like I have now for my YouTube channel, or you can have a more traditional clock display. So that's the first interface that you will see. So a clock. Press it again and it will cycle you through all the different popular pixel arts that is available in the Devoom community. And this one will appear in random so you'll be able to sit through an array of pixel art that changes every few seconds. And if you press it once more, you will go into a music visualizer. And this is pretty cool if you hang it on your wall and you have music playing and you have a party going on. The visualization here will coincide with your music. So let's give that a try. So if you play any music here, the display will move accordingly like an EQ bar and you can also change the styling of it inside the app to suit your liking. So the last one, if you press it one more time, it will go into something called a custom channel. And this custom channel is where you can load up a couple of uh, favorite pixel arts that you find in the community. You save it and you can use it as your custom channel. So that's pretty nice as well. So that's what you get with the controls of the physical frame itself. So now let's dive into the app. So similar to all Devoom products, they are controlled all by the same app, which is really nice. So you get five total tabs at the bottom here. So let's take a look at all of them. 
So the first tab here is your discover tab and you get to do a couple of cool things here. Of course, you get to design your own pixel art. You can create your own animations. You can pixel color to pastime. You can set your alarm planner and have reminder for celebration days, a countdown timer and under more. You can also select some of the favorite apps that you like to use. Uh, you can also click and use any of the extra features there. So if you go into design, this is where you get a blank canvas and you can draw anything that you like. So let's say we draw something like this and you know, we want to add a heart shape. So all of it will be reflected immediately inside your Pixel 64. So if you're more artistic than I am, then this is definitely something very useful for you. Uh, apart from that animation, pixel coloring, which is pretty cool. So if you go into task mode, you get a couple of uh, pictures that you can color and you can choose the different colors and then you can paint over uh, your pixel art. So that's very nice for you to pass some time. So if you scroll down, you can also see some of the activity events. You can also see some of the creation albums of other artists. And you can also find some expert artists in the Divoom community, which is really nice. So under the second tab, this is your channels tab. And this is where you get to choose the different clock faces. And the clock faces here are split into several different styles. So you can, of course, have traditional clock faces like this normal section here where you have a very traditional clock with some graphics going on and all you gotta do is click on any one of it and it will immediately be reflected inside your display. So one of the cool things that the Voom actually markets here is the social media display. So you can connect your account, like for example, I have my YouTube channel here. It will tell me my subscriber counts and my total view counts and it will keep cycling through all of those and give you live updates. You also get a couple more like Twitch. If you use Twitch, you can also have a Twitch update, you can also have a Twitter update, and so on and so forth. Another cool thing that uh, the Voom also markets here is the financial uh, app. So if you have a stock that you're monitoring, for example, the Apple stock, then you can also put it up here. If you also monitor the Bitcoin prices, this is also where you can have them. So that's pretty nice. So going on to the next tab, this is your community tab for you to explore new pixel arts mainly creations from other users and you can scroll through and see what you like. So you can also add any of this into your custom channel so that later on you can view them and have a custom channel specifically with your favorite pixel arts. So the next page here is message. So if you create a lot of pixel arts and people actually interact with your pixel arts, you can see how many people like your pixel arts. You can see responses, followers who are following you and so on and so forth. And the last one is under me which gives you some info about your account, your pixel art creation, how many people like, how many people interacted with your pixel arts, all the devices that you have connected. And below here, you also see some of the favorites that you've stored and you can click and cycle through all of them and you can immediately display them. So that's basically all the features you get with the Divoom app for the Pixu 64. So all in all, I think this pixel art frame is very nice, very cool. And if you have this hanging somewhere in your workstation, it adds a little splash of color to your workstation. And the Pixel 64 does a really great job doing that. And one thing I wish that this model had is an internal battery. And with that, will make the Pixel 64 a lot more flexible for many users. Maybe a big enough battery to last a week. That would make the setup really clean. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and do consider also checking out the Pixel 64 Kickstarter page. I'll put it in the link below and I'll see you in the next video.